come hang out with me on the couch while I show you how to make this sunflower coaster. And let me know in the comments what other flower crochet tutorials you'd like to see. Let's start off with supplies. I'm using three colors. I'm using brown, gold, and green. The brown is called Chocolate by Impeccable Loops and Threads. The gold is called Gold by Impeccable Loops and Threads. And the green is called Forest, Deep Forest, also by Impeccable Loops and Threads. As you can tell, this is a favorite of mine. Um, and you can feel free to add in two yellows instead of the green. I've tried it with a yellow, like a lighter yellow, um, if you'd rather. I like the green personally, but feel free to use whatever three colors you like. I mean, and it'll look like a different type of flower if you use a different color of yarn. It could look more like a daisy or you know, any type of flower you want it to look like, but this is what I like for it to look like a sunflower. The other things you're gonna need are a crochet hook. My size is a G6 4.25 millimeter that I'm using to make it small and tight and then scissors to cut when you're done. Uh, well, not when you're done, you're gonna have to make several cuts actually because you're changing colors and all that stuff. Um, before I start, this is not a super beginner friendly project. I would say this is more, um, you know, advanced beginner slash intermediate project. So if you're a beginner, don't get frustrated with this. Maybe go back and try something simpler like a hat. Um, you're gonna use a lot of crochet in the round skills. And if you learn how to do a hat, then that will help you do this. Okay, I'm starting out with brown and I'm going to do a magic circle. I know that this dark yarn is hard to see on video. Uh, sorry about that, but, but uh, this is the color it needs to be. So if you don't know how to do a magic circle, okay, by the way, I'm putting six single crochets in here. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, I'll link the video in the cards and down below where I break it down in slow motion with a lighter color of yarn that you can see better. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to do two half double crochets in each of these six. So I'm going to have 12 stitches by the time I'm done with this next round. So half double crochet, you wrap around, put your hook through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then you're increasing. So do it again in the same stitch. All right, so I've got 12 HDCs around. I'm going to start doing joined rounds now. So I'm going to slip stitch in my first stitch of the round, and then I'm going to chain two and I'm gonna count this as a stitch. Sometimes you count the chain, sometimes you don't. In this one, I'm going to. So this is gonna stand in as my next uh, half double crochet. So then I'm gonna do another half double crochet in here, and this counts as my first, oops, uh, increase. Okay, so there's like two right there. Uh, then I'm gonna chain one and skip one. So I'm gonna skip this stitch right here and go on to the next one and do two half double crochets in there and continue that pattern all the way around. So chain one, skip one, and then two half double crochets. So you're gonna have 18 stitches around. So now I'm ready to add on my gold and the easiest way I think when you're changing colors like this is to make a slip knot and put it on your hook. And then my next stitch is actually gonna be a double crochet. So I'm going to, and so you can pick any of these holes. You're gonna do seven double crochets into each of these holes that were made by the chain one in the last round. So I'll just pick this one and I will wrap it around. Oops, sorry, I got out of the frame there. Wrap it around, I kind of hold it with my finger there to keep it on the hook and then put it through the space there and then finish my double crochet. Okay, so that's one. I'm gonna do seven. So that's gonna make it look like the flower petal here. Okay. 
I love this gold colored yarn. I bought this because I was making a beak of a penguin for my niece. And I always lose track, so I have to count. <laughs> and I kept looking at it. I was like, what can I make with this gold? So this was my at least one project. Maybe I'll do more. Okay, so there we go. We have seven, so it should look like that. Seven double crochets. Now we're not gonna do any type of chain or anything else. We're just gonna go straight in, wrap around, get ready to do another double crochet and go straight into the next space and then do seven more. And then I'll show you as I'm getting close to this tail what I do to uh, just tuck that in so I don't have to weave it in later. So I'm making my way around here with this gold and I've got the end of the brown from the last round. So I'm just gonna lay it right on top and kind of sandwich it in between here as I make my gold stitches so that I'm like weaving in my ends while I'm crocheting because this will be enough, it should be enough to keep this end. If I just do this a couple times, uh, it'll keep this end safe and I can just cut it off and it won't unravel. And then I don't have to mess, you know, nobody likes sewing in ends. <laughs> so any little tips I think to help you not have to, to do less is nice. Now I'm going to, I have this little end from my gold and I'm going to put that down and kind of sandwich it in between here as I do my last cluster of seven. So I'm just gonna hold it in there and crochet right over top of it to weave that one in as well. So I'll just be able to cut it off when I'm done. I'm at the end of round three and I am going to do a slip stitch to join the last and first rounds like that and then I'm going to cut it off and we're going to add on the green now and sometimes as I'm kind of in this process I'll look at this and see some imperfections like this right here looks a little eh, I mean it looks pretty good but this right here looks a little bit rough around the edges but I'm gonna be covering that up with the green. So I think this is a thing where like, trust the process, keep going, don't give up because things get more even and they look better after your second round or third round. So don't stop. If, you, if it's looking a little bit wonky, just keep going and see if it gets better. I'm going to attach my green the same way I did the gold where I do a slip knot and put my hook through. And then you can really pick anywhere along here that you want to start. I'm going to start back this way a little bit and we're going to do seven single crochets and then we're going to do something I believe is called a spike stitch or a drop stitch. I should have looked this up before I made this tutorial. Anyway, I'll show you how to do it. I'm not sure what it's most commonly called. Okay. So we've got seven here. Oh, and now we have the extra complication of this little knot from the last. So I'm going to just crochet right over that and cover it up. So basically you're doing a, uh, a double crochet, but you're going to reach down into the brown to make your uh, spike stitch. So you wrap around like a double crochet, go down through, stick your hook through the brown, pull it up, you know, don't pull too tight. If it does something weird like this, then just pull it over. So don't pull it too tight because you don't want it, you kind of want it to still look like a circle around the edge. You finish your double crochet. So there is your little spike stitch down. And then you just keep going and do seven more single crochets. And then the double crochet spike stitch when you get to the next uh, dip right here. Okay, I'm about to do my last spike stitch and finish up the crocheting here. And then I will do one slip stitch to connect the green and smooth it out. And now we'll cut it off. So I make this one longer because this is really the only end I have to sew in. And I like to use a tapestry needle. 
Like if I'm making a set of coasters, I'm going to make four to eight or 12 or however many. So I'll just get my tapestry needle and sew this in at the end and it's easier if it's longer. But with the rest of these, I ran over them. I crocheted over top of them like I showed you. And so I can just cut them right off. I don't have to worry about messing with them and weaving them in. So that is my top tip from this type of project. You can use this with uh, granny squares and lots of different things when you're changing colors. If there's a way that you can run over it for a couple inches, then uh, you, you have way less ends to worry about just this one. I thought I should show you how I use a tapestry needle to sew in this last end. So this one is made of bamboo. I like it has a big enough hole. I can just thread the yarn right through. I don't know for sure where I got this. Um, anyway, so I just thread it and then kind of poke it through and I will try to do it in a way where I smooth out that little ridge, which is not totally perfect, but I think it looks good enough. And then I will just go underneath some of these green stitches. I'm not gonna go under the gold because I don't want it to show up too much. So I'll just go along a couple inches going underneath. Oh, don't know if you could hear that. My old dog has arthritis and he just tried to sit up and yelped a little bit. Anyway, this uh, tapestry needle, I believe is made of bamboo and I'm pretty sure I got it at a, like a kind of a novelty craft store in Denver that I don't even know is still there called Fancy Tiger. But uh, I do recommend it if you can find a bamboo one. I think they also, and I, I like how it's uh, shaped like this too. So if you can find something like that, I do recommend it, but I don't know where to tell you to get one, unfortunately. So, all right, that's good enough for me. I just sewed it in there, I'll kind of pull it again to smooth this out and then I'll just cut it off. So that is it for the Sunflower Crocheted Coaster. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below what other flowers you would like to crochet. And if you like this video, of course, give me a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Happy hooking.